This company turned a worthless rock into a multi-billion dollar empire. For many centuries, diamonds weren't a valuable jewel. Found mainly in India and Brazil, they were always rare, but mainly just used in decorations. Then something happened. In 1890, vast diamond deposits were discovered in South Africa. A man named Cecil Rhodes, who sold water pumps to miners, saw a sparkling opportunity. He purchased land from the local De Beers brothers and consolidated several mines into one. This created the company now known as De Beers. At the start of the 1900s, the firm controlled virtually all of the country's diamonds. But Cecil realized it didn't matter because nobody cared about diamonds. That's why the company launched a marketing campaign that would change romance forever. The 1940 advertisement, A Diamond is Forever, linked the stone with the concept of marriage. Another ad made by De Beers in the 1980s popularized the idea that a man should spend two months salary on a diamond engagement ring. The popularity of cheaper lab-grown diamonds has actually reduced prices on the real diamond market. That being said, De Beers still controls about 30% of it. 